Hey there guys, what is up? It is Connor here bringing you some My Warfare 3 MOAB action on some lockdown playing Domination of course with Brian and Logan of course using the PP90 M1, my favorite gun in the game of course with silencer and extended mags. That's not really of course, but you know, that's what we're using this game. And this is my favorite gun. I've stopped using it for now actually because I'm going for some more MOABs with other guns now. I just have my um, my little PM9 left. That piece of crap is my only SMG that I've got left. But I've, I mean, I'm done with it, but I'm not done with that at the same time. You guys feel me on this one? See, what's happening is um, I got... I was on a 23 kill streak, so I was one away from an MOAB, you know, and the game ends because my teammates decide it's a good idea to capture all the bases. Now, that video will be out a little while it's down the road. I have to make commentary over, and I've got tons of other videos, and I'm just, I'm just a busy man, guys. A busy man. Don't have time for all these commentaries. Today was a day off, so I'm taking a little day to just make a few commentaries, get them out of the way, get them ready to put up when I'm ready to put them up. And so that's what we're going for. We'll get a few done right right here, right now. And so, yeah, should I should I keep going for the PM9 MOAB or should I just be done and move on to, like, shotguns and whatever now? Because the PM9 I really don't like. I only have it at level, like, 14 or something. I don't actually try all that much with it. But I had this game, and I thought I was going to get it in the Kablooey. We triple cap for half the game, and the game ends, and I was like, ah! But it was close, so... Should, should I keep going for it, guys, or should I just move on? Leave a comment. Let me know what I should do. Keep going or just move on, Connor. Just forget about it. We'll count it as one and just forget about it. Now, this building I'm going into right now, up these stairs and in this corner, in this room over here, there's always, always, always someone up here. Look at this. They're all just up here having a little party. Look at all those dead people. I'd already run up there like three times this game and gotten like triple, double kills all the time. There's way too many people camping up there. And, yeah, did I mention this video is a three-minute MOAB? I'm not sure if I did. It would have been a little bit quicker, but um, we end up capturing C, capturing A, capturing C, capturing A, capturing C, and capturing A. And so I kept switching back. And as you see me running along the wall right there, when you run touching a wall, look at this. You want to cap it if you want to win the final stand. What a nub. Um, when you run along the wall, as you'll see me do every time I go down there, you actually run a little bit faster for some reason. So whenever, I never really thought that would actually come in handy at all. I was like, all right, well, <laughs> who cares if I'm touching a wall? I'm getting, a, it's got germs and stuff. I don't really want to be like Buddy the Elf, you know, picking up, um, picking gum off the freaking whatever, off the rails and eating it and whatnot. I don't want these germs. That's ridiculous. But if you touch the wall, you actually go faster, And which is when I go across open areas like that, I always like to run along the wall to make it go by a little bit quicker. Um, and it really, it really just helps, just helps you move, helps you navigate these longer courses just a little bit faster. So yeah, I'm not sure I didn't kill that guy a couple of seconds ago. He should have been dead. And my MOAB should have come a little bit faster, but there it is, MOAB. And now, guys, it's time for the 37 gun streak to continue on. Just having fun, PP90, run along walls, collecting germs, all that good stuff we do nowadays. But it really does make you run about 10% faster, I think is what it is. So I never thought I'd use it, but I actually do use it quite a bit. And so whenever you see me running along this wall right here, I will always be touching it. See? Touching the wall, see what I'm doing, collecting germs, all that stuff your health teachers don't want you to do. Oh, there's my handy little portable radar down there. Look at that, he's showing where all these people are. So I run in, and I don't even see this sniper kid standing right next to me. I guess I was focused on something else. And then look at this, he's showing up on my radar, and I still don't turn around and kill him to get my 38 gun streak. Disappointing. But oh well, I thought this game was pretty exciting. Um, finally, I haven't been trying, I don't know, I'm, I was kind of debating whether to try to get quick Moabs like this, but even quicker, like two minute, two and a half minute, one, even maybe under two minutes, I don't know, stuff like that. This is a pretty quick Moab, don't get me wrong, and of course that kid gets Juggernaut out of his care packages, oh, they always get Juggernaut out of care packages, I see at least one Juggernaut a game, and it's just kind of ridiculous, but it's whatever, um, as you see, we're getting triple cap, guys, but do not worry. We come back to win this game, even though we're winning it right now. So it's not really a comeback, but we do win because you guys all are like, Oh my gosh, Connor, you didn't win. Why are you putting the uh, play the objective? Blah, 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 blah. 
That's what I say to that. That's what I think. Um, I just play this game for fun, guys. I don't. I could care less about my freaking win loss. My win loss blows, and I honestly don't care because a lot of times my win losses, I'll join a game and we'll be like halfway done with the game, and I was like, I don't want to play this. Screw that. And then I leave the game. That happened to me like. <laughs> That'll happen to me probably one out of every two games I join, so 50% of the time, and I always leave those games. And then if someone kills me with Dead Man's Hand, that normally calls for a Rage Quit. And as you see, completely avoiding that Juggernaut for now because I'm on this gun streak, and I'm like, I'm not going to ruin it by shooting at this stupid, whatever is that stupid Juggernaut guy. Oh, yeah. And as you guys may be noticing, I know I'm, <laughs> I'm not even finishing any of my thoughts here, but who cares? I don't call in my MOAB because I don't like all that red crap on my screen. I could honestly... Oh, shooting at him again. Running away, running away. Because, um, I really don't like seeing that red, like, jelly stuff all over the sides of my screen when the MOEB is called in. So I normally wait towards the end of the game, but do not worry, guys. Uh-oh, here's the death. Here's the moment of disappointment. Killed by a sniper. He doesn't even have to stop running. It just happens. And so now we're switching over into my... I show you guys the big boomy. Don't worry about it. The big boom is a coming because everyone likes to see the MOEB go off. So this video is a coming to a close. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to leave a right, <laughs> leave a right, just kidding. Leave a rate, comment, all that good stuff. I'd love to talk to you guys, and hopefully you come back to see some more MOA beasts. So I will see you guys later on. Adios.